Jesus, with a child of God that has the mandate to heal through words. She does this through her blog, podcast, and Facebook page. She runs a weekly ladies' meeting called God Consciousness, where together with other ladies, they discuss God and how to stay on fire for God despite the busyness of life. She loves writing and enjoys listening to her audio Bible and knowing the mind of God. She believes that her life is God's message, and as much as she can, she tries to stay aligned with God and understand what he needs of her per season. Ladies and gentlemen, with God's joy, join me to welcome this amiable personality to this month Operation Cash. Deborah T. Ajaboy. We're going to have to come into August edition today and speaking about the subject of cover that man, which is the theme for our prayers tonight. One thing I want to speak about today is the masquerade of fear. The masquerade of fear has kept people bound from experiencing all that God wants them to experience. And could it be that when you saw the theme of the program, you were scared? Masquerade, uncover that masquerade, and you're afraid, and you are thinking within yourself, how do I approach these prayers, you know, from a place of victory? Because fear has kept people bound from experiencing all that they should experience because Satan is like a royal lion. What that means, he comes and he, he, he presents himself as having all the power and keeps you bound from actually going to God and receiving all that Christ on the cross of Calvary has paid for you. So even as we approach this prayer tonight, I want you to open your heart. I want you to hope of that fear because in Second Timothy chapter one verse seven says, "For God has not given you the spirit of fear, but of power, of love, and of a sound mind." So even when the fear comes, as the prayer points are being reeled out, and there are fears, I want you to remind yourself that God has not given me the spirit of fear. So do not let the roaring of the devil, do not let the the speakings of the devil enter you from receiving because tonight we are going to be uncovering every masquerade that has kept us from achieving. And do you know what masquerades do? Masquerades put on garments that make you scared. So what exactly is that situation in your life that has put on a garment that is making you afraid of? of it today thankfully we have a god that is all powerful all knowing and can tear down i want you to approach tonight's prayer ready to tear down uncover every masquerade remember you are seated in heavenly places in christ jesus so what it means is christ already has the victory over the masquerade so even as we pray tonight Pray from a standpoint of victory. Fear has no hold on you. Pray, 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 and pray because God is set to throw your prayers on cover that masquerade. God bless you, and I hope we all have a great time of enjoying the presence of God, covering the masquerade and stepping out victory. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise the living Jesus. Hallelujah. We are now in the session of our prophetic confession as we want to confess that Jesus Christ is Lord and Jesus Christ has power over every satanic masquerade that has been treading upon her life. And as we make our prophetic confession tonight, Jesus Christ is going to deliver us from every satanic oppression in Jesus' name. Amen. And before we continue, I'll, I'll read from Matthew chapter 3, verse 10. Matthew chapter 3, verse 10. 
and now also the earth is laid unto the root of the tree. Therefore, every tree which bringeth not forth good fruit is held down and cast into the fire. As we say our confession tonight, I want you to say it after me. Say it with assurance. Say it with confidence. And you shall possess your possession in Jesus' name. I am a child of God. I am dwelling in the secret place of the Most High God. I am protected and covered under the shadow of the wings of Jehovah. In the name of Jesus. Say again, I am a child of God. I am dwelling in the secret place of the Most High God. I am protected and covered under the shadow of the wings of Jehovah. Under the shadow of the wings of Jehovah. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. The word of God. The word of God is the power of God. Is the power of God. And the entrance of the word of God. The entrance of the word of God into my life. Into my life has brought the light of God. Has brought the light of God into my life. Into my life. And darkness cannot comprehend it. And darkness cannot comprehend it. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I send forth this light. I send forth this light that is in me. That is in me. As a two-edged sword. As a two-edged sword. To destroy all the kingdoms of darkness. To destroy all the kingdom of darkness. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I send forth this light that is in me. I send forth this light that is in me. As a two-edged sword. As a two-edged sword. To destroy all the kingdom of darkness. To destroy all the kingdom of darkness in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus the word of God the word of God is quick and powerful in is my mouth quick and powerful in my mouth God has put the power of his word God has put the power of his word in my mouth in my mouth in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus I trust in the word of God the word stands sure when I speak it it will accomplish the purpose, the purpose for which I have spoken it in the name of Jesus. I trust in the word of God. The word stands sure. The word stands sure. When I speak it. When I speak it. It will accomplish the purpose. It will accomplish the purpose. For which I have spoken it. For which I have spoken it. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. I send the word of God. I send the word of God. To destroy all principalities. To destroy all principalities. Powers, powers, thrones, thrones, rulers of darkness, rulers of darkness and all wicked spirits. And all wicked spirits. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Right now. Right now. I send the word of God. I send the word of God. To destroy all principalities. To destroy all principalities. Powers, powers thrones, thrones, rulers of darkness. Rulers of darkness. And all wicked spirits. And all wicked spirits. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I receive the word of God. I receive the word of God as a sheep. As a sheep. And covering. And covering. Over my life. Over my life. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I receive the word of God. I the word as of God. A sheep, as a sheep. And covering. And covering. Over my family. Over my family. Over my business. Over my business. Over my career. Over my career. Over my ministry. Over my ministry. In the name of in Jesus. In the name of Jesus. And so shall it be in in Jesus name amen Oh
Especially tonight by the power in the name of Jesus. I am believing the Lord the Almighty will reach out to you, will reach out to your family tonight. Please take a seat. There is instruction coming to you tonight. Send the link, send the Google Meet, send the link of the YouTube. Let's pray together tonight. This is another edition of Operation Cash. Remember, our anchor scripture for Operation Cash is Isaiah chapter 65. In Isaiah chapter 65, in verse 27, it says, It shall come to pass. It shall come to pass. It shall come to pass. The season when it will come to pass has just arrived. It said, When ye call, I will answer. God speaking here. And the when you when you are yet speaking, I will hear. God is committed to hearing everyone that opens up his mouth to call upon his name. As you call upon the name of the Lord tonight, it will answer us in Jesus' name. Amen. I want you to pray this, this prayer point in a hurry. We are going to pray fast. We have just limited time tonight, but I want you to pray this prayer before we begin to go into what we have tonight. My Father, I worship you. We are going to call upon the name in Isaiah chapter 43. And in verse 18 and in verse 19, the Bible says, uh, It said, remember you know the former thing. Neither consider the things of old. He said, Behold, I will do a new thing, and now it shall spring forth. We are going to call upon the name of the Lord. He said, Shall you not know it? I will even make a way in the wilderness and rivers in desert. You are going to call upon the name of the Lord tonight. First prayer, you are going to pray. You are going to tell the Lord, O God of new beginning. O God of new beginning. Ah, o God of new beginning. Do let new thing bring forth come forth let new thing come forth in my life make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert oh god of new beginning let new thing come forth in my life make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert open your mouth and pray in the name of jesus oh god of new beginning let new things come up. Let new things come up in my life. Come forth. I come forth new things in my life. In the name of Jesus. You will make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. In the mighty name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and call upon the name of the Lord. Mandoruko Shaparadabuza. Elandiruko Siparadadianonta. Make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. In Psalm 107 and in verse 18, and verse 19, the Bible says in Psalm 108, the children of Israel, I mean, the David was singing a song. And why was he singing the song? That is what he's saying in verse 16. In verse 15, he said, Oh, that men will praise the Lord for his goodness and for his wonderful work. So the children of men. Why? Because he has broken the gate of brass and cut the bars of iron in thunder. You are going to call upon the name of the Lord. If you must sing a new song in this new month, the gate of brass must be broken, the bars of iron must be as put in a thunder. Say, my father, oh God of new beginning, oh God of new beginning, oh God of new beginning, in my life, break the gate of brass, or the bars of iron is thunder. 
open your mouth and pray in the name of Jesus. Oh God of new beginnings, break in my life the gate of brass and cut the bars of iron in thunder. In the name of Jesus, oh God of new beginning, break, 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 break the brass of iron, the gate of brass and bars of iron in thunder. In Jesus' name we pray. You are going to call upon me in Isaiah chapter 6. The Bible tells us in Isaiah chapter 6, if you read from verse 1, it said, King Uzziah died. He said, I had also, Isaiah talking, I had also the voice of the Lord. He was deeper behind the voice of God. This man has been a child, a man, a child of God, but has been under the similitude and the control, and the control and the influence of the king. And that king died that same year. He started hearing God. And then all the white God has been talking, he never did, because in verse 8, as soon as he had an encounter with God, the Bible says in verse 8 that God said, Who shall I send and who will go with for, me, for us? And the Bible says, Isaiah was there. In the presence of Isaiah, God was looking for who to send. And Isaiah could play alarm. Oh, here am I, send me. There are certain set of people in your family, they don't reckon with you. Nobody reckons with you. They don't know anything around. And you are present, they are looking for you. Hey! They are present, they are looking for you. Like the man that the father died and could not come. The man that the father died. The man that the father died, he could not come for any meeting. He could not come for the bur burial because it was not that way. When the father has been buried, messages were coming and people were, com uh, were, were con uh, uh, condoning for him. But he never knew that his father had died and be buried. And he called. And those people said, if you had come home, and then you have come to come uh, come home, we will have been looking for transport for you to and fro. And he was the first child of that man. Because the man in his present, his absence is being felt. So I'm going to call upon the name of the Lord. Say, oh God, give me an encounter. Oh God, give me an encounter. Let not my absence be felt in my presence. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and pray. Oh God, give me an encounter. Let not my absence be felt in my presence. In my family, in the church of God, in my neighborhood, my father need an encounter. This day, let not my let not my absence be felt in my presence. In Jesus' name we pray. In next three prayer, please don't joke with it. Don't joke with it. The Bible tells us, Remember, <laughs> God you see, we have the north, we have the south, we have the east and the east. The Bible says in Proverbs chapter 25 and in verse 25, the Bible declare, it declare, hmm, I love the scripture. The Bible says, it said, as the cold water is to a thirsty soul, so is the good news from far country. Good news from far country. You are going to call upon the name of the Lord. Hey, Shanda. Good news is coming to somebody. Amen. Under the sound of my voice. And you say, Amen, you look like a person. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. This very week we are into receive good news. We are going to call upon the name of the Lord. We are going to call upon the name of Say God of new beginning. God of new beginning. Give me good news from far country. You do understand. There's a good news that comes from far country. Far country. There are two kinds of far country. Above and abroad. Above and abroad. There is certain set of you listening to me tonight. This very much we spend foreign currency more than Nera currency. Amen. Hey, say my father, my maker. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Send me good news Amen. from above. Amen. From abroad. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Open your mouth and pray. My father, my father. Send me good news from abroad, from above. In the name of Jesus. My father, my father, my father, my father. Send me good news from abroad, from above. In the mighty name of Jesus. Send me good news from abroad, from above. In Jesus' name we pray. We are going to call upon the name of the Lord. The Bible says in Titus chapter 2, verse 11, it said, The grace of God has appeared to all men. 
grace is appear it has appeared to all the grace is made available to all but i'm sorry to tell you not all are partakers of of of, uh, of grace why because many people don't know that the grace is available but you must find it you understand jesus christ has called us that if you call we will answer there is that condition there if you don't call it will not answer if you are not speaking it will not hear the same thing with grace you must understand grace must be found no wonder the bible says in genesis chapter 6 and about 8 when the when the old world was about to be destroyed a man found grace and that grace was availed for his family the bible says in genesis chapter 6 verse 8 it said you have I found grace. Grace is an unmerited favor. Isn't that grace? That grace that uh, uh, Esther also found in Esther chapter 1. Esther found grace. He found favor. In Genesis chapter 39 verse 2, the Bible tells us about Joseph. He said Joseph obtained favor. In Daniel chapter 1 verse 9, the Bible said God brought Daniel into favor. In the Luke chapter 1, the Bible tells us from verse 20, it said, Hi, hey, angel of God appeared unto Mary. He said, Thou art highly favored. You are going to call upon the name of the Lord. I am a take care Call upon the name of the Lord. The grace of the Lord. You will find the grace of God. The Bible says in, the, in Exodus chapter 3, I believe in verse 21, he said with these people, he said he will bring them into favor before the Egyptian, that when they go, then they leave, they will not leave empty. So God, my Father, Lord, my Father. give me grace. Let me not be empty-handed. This week, this week, Oh God, I want to find grace. I will not be empty handed. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. In the mighty name of Jesus. Give me the grace. Let me not be empty handed. Thank you, my Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Lastly, you are going to pray. Come, Don't miss this one. Don't miss this one. The Bible tells us, You need men in your life, but they must be relevant men. You need men. The gifts of men cannot be overemphasized in any man's endeavor. I shared something early in the morning. I said the great man of God gave a permi- uh, gave a opportunity for a, a man who is submitting to him to minister in his, in a conference. And then while he was ministering, and the man began to declare, he said, "I need no man in my life. Once I have God." One with God is majority. And when man of God, the late uh, uh, Archbishop Idauza, mounted the pulpit, he said, Son, you need, you need men. I wonder when people say they don't need man in their life. When even God, the creator of the universe, needed, in fact, he had to take God, the, the Trinity, God the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost, to come together. He said, mm, We need men. Let us create man in our Genesis chapter 1. And in verse 26, then let us create man in our image. God created man for the purpose. In Genesis chapter 2, verse 7, man was created. In Genesis chapter 7, I mean chapter 2, in verse 15, the man was brought into the garden that God has made because man was assignment for God. God needed man. God will not come from heaven to come and be tilling the ground. He said man was put in the garden that he might till the ground and dress it. You will need the gift of men. In uh, Ezekiel chapter 22 and verse 30, the Lord was talking. He said, God said, I sought for a man. God is still looking for man. Jesus Christ came into the world, into this world. He could not go alone doing it. He needed men. And he saw a man. The first person in approach was Peter. And he said, Peter, he saw him. He's a feature. He's a feature. And he said, Come, follow me. I will make you feature of men. If men are not necessary in one's life, God, Jesus Christ, would not have said, I will make you fishers of men. When Jesus was living, he told us that the promise of the Father is coming, that the Holy Spirit is coming, he shall tell you all things. Oh, oh what is the mission of the Holy Spirit if man has not, is not needed? If God the Father needed man, son, needed man, Jesus Christ needed men, and Holy Spirit needed men. And you say you don't need man, you need the gift of man. You are going to call upon the name of the Lord. Say, my father, my father arise. arise. Give me the gift of men. Oh, look at Deuteronomy chapter 33 verse 6. He said, uh, Moses was prophesying to the life of a family, Reuben, that is already going down. And look at him. He said, mm, let Reuben not die. 
and his men not with you. Say, my father, my father. give me the gifts of men. Let not my men be few. It's going to happen. Open your mouth and pray. Give me the gift of men. Let not my men be men. Not my men be few. Oh Lord, arise, arise. Give me the gift of relevant men. Let not my men be few. Marika so parada balabalabash. Ranga de bunda ebola. Heli ma kori kale de bush. Yes. Give me the gift of men. Let not my men be few. Hey. My father, my maker, arise. Give me the gift of men. Let not my men be few. In Jesus, we worship you, Lord. Thank you, my father. Mm, we give you glory. We give you glory. We give you glory. We give you glory. Worship you, Lord. Ancient of days. Thank you, Lord. We worship you. We worship you. We worship you. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. There is no other name. 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 There is no other name. There is no other name. Jesus, 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 Jesus. There is no other name. Oh, oh, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. There is no other name. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. There is no other name. Ah, that wonderful name is Jesus. Hey, that wonderful name. The name is Jesus. Hey, that wonderful name is Jesus. There is no other name. I know, I know, I know, I know that wonderful name. That name is Jesus. Oh, that wonderful name. The name is Jesus. Hey, that wonderful name. Jesus. There is no other name I know. Oh, no other name than the name of Jesus. No other name than the name of the Lord. No other name than the name of Jesus. Is worthy of glory, is worthy of honor, is worthy of power and of praise. There's no other name than the name of Jesus. No other name than the name of the Lord. No other name than the name of Jesus. Is worthy of glory. Is worthy of honor. Is worthy of power and There is no other name I know. 
There is no other name I know. His name is higher, and I know that name. His name is Jesus. His name is love. Hey, Kalaboyara. His name is higher, and I know His name is Jesus. His name is Lord. His name is Lord. His name is Ayah. Above all the names, His name is Jesus. His name is Lord. His name is Ayah. Above all the names, His name. Yourself tonight in Jesus' name. Uncover that masquerade. In 2 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 4, I feel like praying tonight. Oh, please lend me your attention. Give me your attention. Pay attention. Don't just wait for prayer points. There are instructions. God gave me an instruction to pass across to as many that will. That we want to take the instruction. First, Second Corinthians chapter eleven, verse four and verse five is my anchor scripture. The Bible says, "And no marvel, for Satan himself is transformed into an angel of light. Therefore, it is no great thing if his ministers also be transformed." As the ministers of righteousness, whose end shall be according to their works. Oh my God! Please, if you are on uh, Google Meet, please mute. When we are praying, you can unmute yourself so that the other can hear. Hallelujah! He said, "Therefore, it is no great thing if this minister, if his minister, so devil, has an attitude of masquerading." And his minister also can be transformed in that realm. And then look, if devil that we read about comes to us like Odiju Kalaba and paints for us, paints men, paints everything, and they scare us, we will all of us will know we will recognize him. But he comes like angel of light. Oh my god, oh my god. I had a testimony of a man who was praying. And they was praying for numbers of days, and the seventh day of his prayer, I was told that this man, in the midst of the prayer, seven days of his prayer, an angel, so-called angel, appeared unto him, and he said, they mentioned his name. He said, he should stop the prayer that the prayer has been answered, and he lifted up his left hand, this same angel, and uh, lifted up the left hand. And the while he lifted up the left hand, he was giving declaration to this man. And this man, by this time, I saw him lifting hand. The last time I checked, the Bible says in Exodus chapter 15, verse 6, it said, The right hand of God is glorious in power. The right hand of God is glorious in power. And so when he saw some stain around the man, he knew it was not the angel of God. He said, The blood of Jesus rebuke you. And the, the so called angel disappeared. That man discerned. The, the, the devil masquerade himself. Oh my God, what is masquerade? As in our context today, a masquerade is a case where someone puts on false and delusion appearance. False and delusion appearance. 
for the purpose of deceiving and taking captive his target. From our stairs, the Bible says Satan is said to be capable of appearing to be an angel of light. It is not to be deemed strange that those who are in his service also should resemble him. Masquerade is a familiar enemy that covers his identity to inflict pain, to inflict pro to project evil, to deposit evil, to steal and exchange destiny and glory. Masquerades are masked spirits. Masked spirits that must be unmasked tonight, which are mostly foundational powers. They are foundational friends, friends, household witchcrafts, household wickedness. They instill fear in their victims in order to snatch their gifts, to snatch their talents, to snatch their virtue, to exchange their des destinies, to cause pain, to cause death, and all sorts of evil. Masquerading enemies come in disguise for the victim, not to ascertain who they are, that and that 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 make them or make it very difficult for them to understand, to know, to know the root of their problems. And that's why we are here tonight to pray. And I'm believing God it will answer our prayer. Masquerade spirit has brought many people into bondage. It is the spirit behind backwardness and near success syndrome. Men and brethren, hear me well and hear me well tonight. Behind every negative happening in our lives, there are clever and intelligent spirits. Behind every affliction of a man, there is an unseen affiliation. Behind every misfortune and ill luck, hey, is a masquerading spirit. As a result of this masquerade, many lives have been destroyed. Some lives are, are just changed. Many had called their enemies friends. And some have called their friends enemy. Their enemy, they call them friends while their friends become their enemy. Oh my God. Oh my God. A man of God shared a testimony. He shared something that happened. He was in his church and the church was known to be a, a praying church. And all of a sudden, a lady walked into the church. When everybody saw the lady the way she prayed, she was praying, pa, 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 ah, you will, you will get her. And after some couple of weeks, he came to the church. There's a pastor that he wants to join band. And then the pastor arranged and he joined the choir band or the chorister in that church. And uh, after that time, he took over. She took over. And she will lead choruses. Every time she leads choruses, you will see people falling under anointing. Listen, brothers and sisters, there are different kinds of anointing, no? There are different kinds of anointing. You must, you must, you must. That's why you must be rooted in scripture. That's why every time I pray, I bring scripture to you to pray. See, if, if you will begin to sing, you will see atmosphere truly will change. And people will be falling, 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 falling. Why was the essence of falling under anointing and yet you are still inside your, your problem is compounded? How should I, if, if, uh, if falling under the anointing is what will solve my problem, I will, every time I hear somebody, even when, me, when the uh, anointing is not carrying me, I will fall down. So that I will carry my, I will, I will carry, I will carry my blessings. You fall under anointing and you carry, somebody is, somebody is blind, fell under anointing, became crippled and blind. The blindness did not go, it became crippled. That was the kind of ministration that one was making. Am I against people falling under anointing? So if the power of God strikes, you can't, you can't, you can't, you can't escape it. Ah, but what I see, the one that comes from God, if you fall under anointing, your problem must be rolled away. Listen to me. And this one will come. It will lead choruses, and then every time, in fact, the pastor started using because of the move. According to him, he thought it was the move of God. And this lady was in that church for five years. Now, one day, the man decided to inform, to, the wife was the one that dictated something. Listen to me, if you are a man of God, many times we are victim of so many things around us because we don't listen to our wives. The man of God, the wife, the wife said, there is something strange about this lady. The man, the husband said, yes, 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 yes. That, in fact, is a gift to this church. Ah! He said, no, my dear, that's not what I'm saying. 
there's something strange I'm seeing around this lady. Ah, I said, ah. So the husband thought that the wife is jealous of the lady because of the way a uh, so called, he said, he thought God was using her. So one day, after a while, I don't know what happened, the woman kept praying, the husband of the, of the pastor kept praying, and the pastor now invited another person from another, from a, a, maybe from the headquarters or wherever, he invited someone to come with that information to the, to the congregation that that man will be coming. And so the man came on the, on the podium, and it was the time for the ministration, and the man of God, the pastor of that church, invited this same lady to come and lead pray, uh, praise worship. And the man of God, that one, I, I, his eyes were opened. Oh my God. God will give you a open eye. Listen, there are so many eyes that see. Only few eyes. Only, there are so many eyes that look. Only few eyes can see. This man, he said, no, 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 change that lady. Ah, the man, the pastor said, no, no, no. He said, this one is anointed. He said, no. No, change her. Let another person lead that to worship. He said, ah, she's the best. She's, she's the best hand. The man of God insisted, change her. Let another person lead. And so he agreed and they call another person. And then they say, ah, ah, what about Sister Lalaba? That's not the name of the person, no. And the one for me name, oh, Sister Lalaba, Sister Lakashegbe. So that's it. What about Sister Lalaba? So Sister Lakashegbe is the sister they want to come and sing. But Sister Lalaba is the one that, ah, Sister Lakashegbe is complaining. What about Sister Lalaba? And then you understand. And then they. <laughs> The pastor said, don't worry, don't worry, you miss it, you miss it. And he went to the meet to, to go and lead the worship. And when this one moved, moved the worship, there was spirit of God in the atmosphere. When the man of God invited guests, we minister and what came on the pulpit, as he began to worship God and he read the first prayer point. The so-called sister for five years that have been making people to fall under the demonic anointing. You think it's only the spirit of God that made people to fall? That the and so the man that she was the first person, the power of God, pick her, roll her up, bah, and she started doing like a snake. Started swimming like a snake. And the man of God walked to her and said, Who are you? She was sent. She was sent from the water world. Man is spirit. She said she was sent five years ago to this church. And the same year, that particular month was the month it was she was to carry to finish her mission. Every good person that comes to that church has gone. Only useless people are not. Useless people will not come to your domain. Useless people will not come to your place of work. Amen. You will not gather only use, uh, just as people in your church. Amen. Relevant men will come to your church. Amen. And listen to me. And he saw, he discovered all this thing around. And then he began to confess. He began to confess. He began to confess. And the man of God. And she was not ready. I said, where were you? He said, the power was given to her from the everyone that fall under our anointing must never receive any blessing from God. In fact, she has slept with different people in that same church within five years. Slept with different people. She has slept with him and the next target was a pastor. You can see, a person was hiding on the, that is a masquerading spirit. Hiding. Men and brethren. <laughs> the devil is good at masquerading. Wearing of masks. Disguising himself to deceive people, some of the most plausible appearances of piety and are assumed uh, uh, by Satan and his ministers. We must specifically pray to unmask that masquerade that is behind our predicaments. We must specifically pray to unmask that masquerade that is behind our predicaments. You are here listening listen to me. You have been married and no child. Hey! There is something hiding behind. That's what we want to unmask. Oh. See, God gave me an assignment to deliver to you. I will deliver it and I'll be happy. Listen to me. Listen to me well. God has given me an assignment. You have been up to the marriageable age. And it's like no man is looking at you except useless ones. And you've been looking at yourself. What? When can I? Hey, God is about to do something in your life this week. You are, he wants me to give you an assignment. He instructed me to give you. I will not lie against him. But it's not left for you. 
This, this is the way assignment. We are going to pray now, but this is the way the assignment will go. And it's starting from tonight. You are going to pray. I'm going to give you some prayers. If you have opportunity to write, write. If you don't have opportunity to write, you can go to our social media to download and look, look at those prayers again. Listen. The first thing you will do that I want me to do is to, instead, I should tell you how you will uncover that masquerade that is behind your predicament. That is, you, you, be, you, are, you are educated, you are certificate, but you cannot get job. There is a masquerade behind that predicament. You are disturbed about your child that you brought in the way of the Lord becoming naughty and wayward. There is a masquerade behind that predicament. Your child is falling sick, your spouse is falling sick over and over. There is a masquerade behind that predicament. And that's why I have come tonight. How do you uncover that masquerade? Number one, repent of all known and unknown sin. As you go, you will start a prayer tonight. That prayer will run. You will pick just 15 minutes. According, I'm telling you the way he gave it to me. Just listen. That's why I said it's not just prayer. Instruction is coming. We are going to pray. But it's between 11 p.m. from tonight, oh, we are going to do that throughout this week. Between 11 p.m. and 2 a.m. Look for a 15 minutes. A 15 minutes. You will do the prayer. Tonight, the first assignment he wants me to give you. Number one, we are going to repent of all known and the unknown sin. Whether you know the sin or you don't know, you are in doubt. This one is not a sin. Now, this you must repent. And we will start it from here this night. And from 11 p.m. to 2 a.m. every night, look for 15 minutes in between. And you will pray. If you are married, pray with your spouse. Discover. See, many people have called me. Many people called me and they, they, when they share their experiences with me and what is happening, by the Spirit of God, sometimes God will reveal to me, sometimes, not all the time, God will reveal to me exactly the problem that is behind it. And there are some of the problems you see, I can't open my mouth to talk. And the secret I give them, I'll tell them, i say, you are going to pray. If many of you, you know that I'm used to this 15-15 minute prayer, because it's been working. And I'll tell them, pray for so, so, so number of days. And I'll tell them, I won't give them prayer points. You know what you need. Begin to tell the Lord. And then, you know, some of them will feel, oh, ah, ah. Is it just because of this thing? That's why you are saying I should pray. Ah. 15 minute prayer? Immediately, so that person speak that thing, I lose interest. Because if many of you, you are falling victim of false prophets because you cannot discover things by yourself. And many people will go to Abalis. If you have been in the world before, if you are not saved, you are going to Abalis. And Abalis will tell you to do something, you will not argue. All Baba will say, are you sure it's going to work? A lady called me, I don't know whether it's online now. She's been married and somebody gave my, uh, my contacts to her. And she's been married, no child. And one of the particular times, she said she was pregnant, she lost the pregnancy. And the Holy Spirit said to me that it wasn't pregnancy and the month that that happened. Because she didn't tell me the month. And I said, so much, I yeah, said that was the month she lost the pregnancy. I said, you didn't lose pregnancy. He said, but she's a doctor. I said, yes, I know, but I'm also a child of God. And I said, that, that, that thing you thought you had was not actually a pregnancy. I said, that same day that you saw something in you, and then you felt that it was pregnancy, it was a strange hand that entered and took away your wound. So I told her what she, she, she should do. And I said, if you and your husband can do that, well, that'll be fine. And then she began to do that. She began to do that. She will, She told me, I said she will see something. I mentioned starting days that she will see a revelation. And then she told me uh, that she, has, she, doesn't, she, she does not dream a, a dream at all. I said, what? You don't dream. So I said, you will dream. On the, I said, on the third day of that your prayer, you will have two dreams. I said, all you just need to pray each time you want to pray, oh God, the spirit of the living God, do not allow me to forget my dream. She sent, I still have the, the, the voice note. She sent voice note to me how she was seeing Revelation. She has never seen Revelation. To the glory of God, it was a few months ago, two or three months ago, that I was told that she has put to bed. This was just last year. Why? Because the secret, when she saw some of those secrets, and because the thing has to do with her family, 
I don't want to cause problem in family. I only gave with I apply wisdom. I said, okay, you see this person that you saw, this person is that you saw. Be careful, don't call this person. Don't do this one. Don't do this one. I didn't say that person is a wish. Many of you don't understand, but you see, when you come to man of God, say man of God to tell you, eh, this is the first person that is behind your problem. This what the wife is your husband that is behind your problem. You will not believe, you will see ah, these first people, these first people. In fact, the man, you live with the man, the man will turn your edge. Or whatever if it's your woman, the woman will say, no, don't mind them. That's why I lay eight these people. And they will confuse you and you will think you are being confused. And then you will not start avoiding. I'm not, I'm not foolish. That's why God told me. He said, if you must be used by him, I must do in the scripture. When I read my scripture and when God, I ask God, do I tell this person this information? But this thing is something you can discover yourself. Number one, repent. You will do it here now. And then you will do it between 11 and 12, 2 p.m. 2 a.m. You will do that every day. Don't stop it until you discover the problem. And every thing you see, because God will reveal some things to you in the dream. Number two, be blind to what seems superficial. Anything that seems superficial lying around you, don't be carried away with it. Don't be car- let me under- let me explain that to you. One night, myself and my wife we prayed the prayer and we went to bed. God revealed to all the secret, and God gave me a revelation. There's somebody that was so close to us. Gave me a revelation and gave my wife a revelation that same night. Both of us woke up the same time. You know why we woke up? We woke up because we wanted to go and eat ourselves. Both of us woke up at the same time. And while she was eating herself, she said, I had a revelation. I said, I also had a revelation. Both of us finished eating herself and she narrated that story to me. And it is exactly the same thing we had that same night. But you see, I saw a face. She saw a face. They are different faces, but the same thing. And then the Holy Spirit said to me, He said, Don't spare any of them. So I said, Holy Spirit, what should I say? What should I do? He said, We should carry, I should carry Holy Ghost Koboko. That's the language I use. I said, How do we get it? I said, Now, the things of the Spirit is treated in the Spirit. You must be spiritual. And I said to her, Take your, take the spiritual, uh, spiritual web, uh, uh, Koboko, you know, the cane. I said, Take it. And I took one and we began, I was mentioning the name of each of them. And we're putting it, we're eating, we are beat the edge, beat the leg. We measured the main name of the first person, the one I saw. We measured the name of the one she saw, to my greatest surprise. The same morning, somebody came in all the body, everywhere, swollen up. And this somebody we saw yesterday evening. And so when I came, I saw what was happening, both of us, myself and my wife, we started smiling. I said, did your daddy beat you? Who beat you? Over the night, I said, I don't know. I just woke up I like this. That's how God this, this, this assures the secrets. You know what happened? What, we, what I did at that particular time was that I closed my eyes against, because this was a caring person. Time will fail me, of course, I want us to, but I'm giving you instruction, instructions. I want us to pray. But time will fail me to analyze so many things to you tonight. Is it the one I've seen about people? That's why tonight you are going to pray. And the Almighty God will answer your prayer. Number three, forgive anyone. When you are doing this prayer, forgive anyone who has offended you. Someone who has offended you, whether it's your wife, whether it's your husband, whether it's somebody in your church, whether it's somebody in your place of work, for the sake of you to uncover this, mar- this marriage that is behind your predicament, forgive. You see, well, forgiveness is not for the offender. It is for the forgiven. That person has nothing to lose. You are the one that will lose something because if you don't forgive, your heavenly father will not forgive you. Number four, don't react to anyone that speak against you. In this moment, people can speak against you. They can say something you did not know anything about. Don't react against them. Don't react. Don't react to anyone that speak it. When you are doing this prayer, remember, when so, you will find people in the midst of it. The devil will reintegrate some people. There is that same mark school, that same mark school that will move people. Don't you understand? Sometimes you pray over the night and you fasted and pray, and God is about to. You wake up in the morning as you come out and you greet your neighbor. Your neighbor said, "Don't greet me. What did I do?" Your neighbor remember something that happened two days ago. What happened two days ago? And you fetch water and you remove a pail and you fetch water and he start fighting. And yes, he, has, he saw you yesterday. He didn't talk. Why is it today that you? 
Is it the devil? It's not that your neighbor that has problem. It's the devil because of the prayer. It's a reaction to the prayer you have prayed. And so he enters into the heart of that, uh, of that neighbor in order to provoke him for you to say what you should not say. Don't react to anyone that speaks against you. Number five, cut off any sort of time in your life. If you are listening to me now and you are believing God for you want to marry a right man, a right woman, please, you can cu- cut off any sort of time. Somebody that you have placed in your heart, in the, in the position of God, re- deactivate your heart from that person for this season. In fact, if, as, as a matter of fact, I've told some people, I said, this person, this person, it's not that it's not the will of God. Cut off for the next one week, don't call. When the person calls you, don't, 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 uh, don't speak. If the person sends you a text message, reply a text message. I'm sorry, I'm busy. I'll get, I'll get you. Don't create any movement, anything. That's how to cut off from so tight. I didn't say cut off from any evil so tight. There are evil so tight, but I said so tight. If you, especially those of you who are believing God for marriage, for one week, don't do it. Let God show you something about that person. You will see it. You see what I'm telling you. These are the things that has worked for me and has worked for people that are giving testimony by instruction. Number six, deliberately and prayerfully deal with your weaknesses. Every man has his own weakness. Deliberately, if your weakness is you don't you don't sit with a, uh, you go inside the bus and you sit with a, with a, an opposite side a weakness, you must deliberately pray and pray against it. Pray and de- you must. There's, it's not only prayer, you must act on it. Watch a movie and you see a man and a woman hugging themselves. The problem is stop, deactivate, don't watch a movie. There's somebody listening to me. Your husband is, 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 he, is used to pornography. Pornography. He's addicted. And funny enough, this person has the call of God. He's used to pornography. Somebody listening to me now. Your husband is, 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 is addicted to pornography. And because of that, it's not in control of his life. I pray in the name of Jesus, because God will be to redeem. In the mighty name of Jesus, may God give you the grace to detest that attitude. In the mighty name of Jesus. Number seven, pray for the power of the Holy Spirit. You need the power of the Holy Spirit for discernment. For discernment. Those are the seven things. And those things I just said to you now. Is what you should practice tonight between 11 and 2 a.m. Look for 15 minutes. If you are married, hold on, hold with your wife. If you are not married, pray that prayer alone. Look for 15 minutes. It's not too much. Create an, an atmosphere and do that thing. And you will see God. I'm telling you, you will share testimony. Number one, repent of all known and the unknown sin. Number two, be blind to what seems superficial. Number three, forgive everyone, anyone who has offended you. Number four, don't react to anyone that speaks against you. Number five, cut off any soul tie in your life. Number six, deliberately and prayerfully deal with your weaknesses. Number seven, pray for the power of the Holy Ghost. Now, listen. Before we pray, the next one I'm going to give you now is the prayer point. This prayer point will start that one tomorrow night. The one I just gave you now is tonight. You will take it. I told you, you say, normally we don't preach too much like this in the, in the operation catch. We just call upon the name of the God. This is an instruction. This is an instruction. The next prayer, the prayer point I'm going to give you now at the prayer point you are going to start tomorrow within the same range of time. Look for 15 minutes. If you cannot finish the prayer point, transfer it to the next one. And by the grace of God, on the 8th, midnight, and the eight midnight by twelve, we'll be having uh, uh, we'll be having our our Mount Camel, and then I will be praying with you. You still look for that period of time. You will spend your own time to pray. Then we will pray together because this thing has to continue. What we are doing tonight is to unmask or to uncover that masquerade. You will discover that you will see something this week. Then during our Mount Camel will be what we'll be doing during our Mount Camel is to go and unravel that masquerading bondages, things that have been instilling into your body, into your life, that is making you to live as if you are not living, that is making your life to be and uh, 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 to, to be a life of defeat. We are going to unravel it. I'm telling you, 
and you will see God in action. I'm believing God that the Almighty God will reach out to you tonight. Now, I want to, before I give you the prayer, one thing I want you to do wherever you are right now. You see, it's only Jesus that answers prayer. If you have done anything wrong, please listen. Repentance. Repentance. When you, you call for mercy every time. Repentance is the key. It's not just for sinners. Sometimes you make it, you err from the Lord. Maybe uh, mistakenly or whatever, you repent. That is the way God can help you. Wherever you are right now, I want you to open up your heart unto the Lord. I want you to call upon the name of the Lord. I want you to open and say, Father, forgive me. Just forgive me, Lord, of this thing. Open up your heart. Open up your heart. You can repent on behalf of your, of your, of your family. Daniel did that. On behalf of the entire nation. He said, we have sinned. He was not born when his artist son committed the sin. You can pray tonight, Lord, forgive me. Oh, wash it for me. And now the beat may come to the oh, lamb of God. I come. I come. Just as I am without one plea. But I that blood was shed for me, and now thou bid me come to thee, O Lamb of God, I come, I come. I want to pray with you now. Father, I thank you for your home. There are many that come unto you, you will no wise cast out. Lord, I present your people before you. Lord, they have realized themselves, every known and the unknown sin in their lives. Father, we apply the blood. This is the benefit of Calvary. Lord, I pray, let the blood of Jesus wash them. And Lord, so that as they call upon you tonight, Lord, you will answer them speedily. In Jesus' name. God bless you. We want to pray now. I'll give you several prayers. Several prayers that you will pray. Backed with scriptures. In, and we have just few minutes to do that. We have just few minutes to do that. Several prayers. We have just five, seven, five, a few minutes to do that. So you will prepare. If you can write it, fine. Because I want you to pray. We are going to do this throughout this week. Starting from tonight. Don't wait till tomorrow. Don't say, ah, I'm busy tonight. And you want to wait tomorrow. Devil can shoot you over the night. Devil can shoot you over the night. You are going to pray. The first prayer I want you to pray. In 2 Kings chapter 6, verse 17, the Bible tells us about the servant of Elisha. Servant of Elisha was coming, and the Bible tells us when he saw the chariot of, of, uh, of war and the thing that was coming to the father, he said, Father, see what is happening. And Elisha was calm and he looked at it and said, What is happening? He said, No, 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 no. Yeah, what will we do? And then he prayed the prayer. Elisha prayed prayer for his servant. And what was the prayer? He said, Oh Lord, I pray thee, open his eyes that he may see. That is the prayer point you are going to pray. I want you to call upon the name of the Lord. Say, oh Lord, I pray thee, open my eyes that I may see. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and pray. Oh Lord, I pray thee, open my eyes that I may see. I want to see the mystery behind my predicament. Open my eyes to see who is behind that masquerade. Open my eyes, open my eyes. My Father, please open my eyes that I may see. In the name of Jesus, remember when you call, He will answer. While you are here speaking, He will hear. Open my eyes that I may see. My Father, my Father, my Father, my Father. In the name of Jesus, open my eyes that I may see. Open my eyes that I may see. Open my eyes that I may see. In the name of Jesus. 
In Jesus' name we pray. Ha! My God. The enemy normally s e e things around themselves. They know their wedge, but believers don't know what they carry. Ah! We are going to call upon the name of the Lord. Number two, anointed to uncover every masquerade. Anointed to uncover every, every masquerade. A sign for my downfall. Fall upon me now. In the name of Jesus. Anointed to uncover every masquerade. A sign for my downfall. In the name of Jesus. Fall upon me now. 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 Go bara kata yerebo shenir mangara balagalash. Fall upon me now. In the name of Jesus. Every masquerade. A sign for my downfall. Fall upon me now. In the name of Jesus. A rekete barika deri baba shenir boza. In Jesus name. I told you we don't have time. I'll just few minutes. We don't even know our enemies. All because they camouflage. They conceal their identity and put on the mark. We must look past the visible to see the invisible. We must be able to look at the situation and know that the enemy has done this. My God. My God, my God. In p a i n Uh, 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 oh my God, help me. Oh my God, help me. Look at the story. Oh my God. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. I'm seeing, I'm seeing three people. As we pray, as we begin to pray this prayer, you will just see, you will be, you, there's this kind of sensitivity and discernment. That will begin to fall on you. I'm telling you, please don't take it for granted. I've seen three people. You will see, your, your, you will see yourself after this week, you see yourself operating in a realm, unusual realm, by the power of God. Oh my God. Oh my God. In Ecclesiastes, I mean, sorry,、uh, Ezekiel. In Ezekiel chapter 11, verse 9, the Bible says, I will give them one act. And I will put a new spirit within you. And I will take the stony heart and、uh, the stony heart out of, your, out of their, their flesh. He said, I will give them an heart of flesh. That heart of flesh in that Bible passage is talking about,、uh, it's not to be the sensitive heart, it's the sensitive heart. So I will give them, if you look at the amplifier, am,、uh, amplifier. The Bible amplifies, it tells us, it calls it sensitive acts. You are going to pray. You are going to pray. You are going to tell them, say, Lord, give me a sensitive act and the spirit of discernment. Lest my enemy make a fool of me. In the name of Jesus. Lord, give me a sensitive act and the spirit of discernment. Lest my enemy make a fool of me. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. In the mighty name of Jesus, my Father, my God, give me a sensitive ass and the spirit of the s a l m o n Lest my enemy make a fool of me. In the name of Jesus, I want a sensitive ass. I want a spirit of the s a l m o n Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost. In a man, they will never shut up. Rakoto Barakatia. Yes, 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 yes. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. For a sensitive heart and the spirit of the s a l m o n In the name of Jesus.、Mm. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Give me a sensitive heart and the spirit of the s a l m o n In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. Thank you, my Father. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. You are going to pray. Next prayer, you are going to tell the Lord. In Ephesians, I believe, in Ephesians chapter 1. 
and in verse 17 and in verse 18. The Bible says that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give you the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of Him. Look at what He said in verse 18. He said that the eyes of your understanding being enlightened, the eyes of your understanding being enlightened, the eyes of your understanding being enlightened. When he talks about the heart of your understanding, he's talking about the eyes of your heart. Open the eyes of my heart, Lord. Open the eyes of my heart. I want to see you. I want to see you. To see you, I am lifted up. Shining in the light of your glory. For all the power and might. As we sing, holy, 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 I want to see you. Say, O oh God of our Lord Jesus Christ, let the eyes of my heart be enlightened tonight. In the name of Jesus, O oh God of our Lord Jesus Christ. Let the eyes of my heart be enlightened tonight. In the name of Jesus. Let the eyes of my let the eyes of my heart. Let the eyes of my heart be enlightened tonight. Say, oh God of our Lord Jesus Christ. Let the eyes of my heart be enlightened tonight. In the name of Jesus. La re de bo so para ga de bo she de re bo ko hi ana manda ra keti man bari bari ale bo shangar ye de bo ko sati la bala in Jesus name ah oh, I wish this connected on time we can go, we can pray in First Kings chapter fourteen and if you read from verse two something happened there's a man called Jeroboam he has a wife and he told his wife he, one of his, his son was sick. And he told his wife that the wife should disguise herself so that she would not be known to be the wife of Jeroboam. And he must go to a place called Shiloh to meet a man, a prophet. The name of that prophet is Aijah. He said, When you get there, so that you will not know that you are the one. The woman with disguise, because you want to go and ask an information whether that child, so that that child can live. But you know what? I love what this. I love God. You need to know God. Uh, you will see something will come on you this week. I'm telling you by the grace of God. I'm telling you by the grace of God. Look at the Bible says. The Bible says in verse five of that chapter fourteen of First Kings, it said the Lord said unto Aijah, Behold, the wife of Jeroboam cometh to ask a thing of thee for a son, for he is sick. God went ahead and told Aijah before the woman came. Do you remember the woman came? He came disguising, masqueraded himself by the instruction of her husband. But before he came to the man of God, the Lord appeared and told the man of God, The Lord will appear to you and give you the secrets. Listen to me. Man cannot reveal secrets, secrets to you. It's only God. Deuteronomy chapter 29, verse 29. He said, The secret thing belongs to the Lord. We are going to call upon the name of the Lord. The secret belongs to God. He revealed to him. And you know what? That was the secret. That was the secret. He said, The man, he told, he even told him, He said, That woman will come, for it shall be when he comments that she shall feign, pretend, be under the masquerade. <laughs> And he said, she shall feign, she shall feign herself to be another woman. I want you to pray prayer before I continue. Say, Lord, say, Lord, say, Lord, say, Lord, like Aijah, unveil to me the secret of people who disguise themselves to be another around me. Lord, like Aija, the, the secret of people who disguise themselves to be another around me. In Jesus, if you can pray this prayer, if you are preparing for marriage, that prayer is good for you. 
If you are preparing, you want to secure justice, something is happening in your place of work, this is the prayer you need. God will reveal to you. Lord, like Ahijah, unveil to me the secret of people who disguise themselves to be an, another around me. If you are seeing around yourself, you see that some problem is happening and it's like people are telling you don't know what anything about and they are accusing you wrongly. This is what you can pray. Lord, I uh, like Ahijah, unveil to me the secret of people who disguise themselves to be another around me. In Jesus' name we pray. Six. The Bible says, and it was so, God was still talking to Isaiah, when Isaiah heard the sound of her, of her feet, as he came in at the door, that he said, look at what Isaiah said, he said, come in, he was just coming, pretended and disguised and feigned herself, Isaiah said, come in, thou wife of Jerubam, you know, Isaiah, he was a blind person, he was a blind prophet, but he has the eyes in the heart. He said, Thou wife of Jerubam, why painted thou thyself to be another? Now, I like the last part. He said, For I am sent to thee with heavy tidings. Heavy tidings. It's not good news. Heavy tidings. He came with a, with a noise, with a word, but the man of God did not allow him to open his mouth, to, uh, open her mouth to say the word. The man of God said, For I am sent to thee with heavy tidings. Say, Father. Give me final words to silence the enemies, saying themselves as friends. In the name of Jesus, stand up and pray, everyone in the house. In the name of Jesus, Father, give me final words to silence the enemies that paint themselves as friends. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, Father, give me the final words to silence the enemies that paint themselves as friends. In the name of Jesus, thank you, my Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Uh, I have a leading that has stopped here. Do I have about three prayer points more to give to you? We'll continue with this. Remember, the treating on rebel, on rebel, the masquerading bandages, anything around you, I want you to do this prayer. This one is okay. Pray for tonight. You seek the face of God. You repent of every unknown sin. Make sure you pray that God should give you grace to overlook certain things. Have this forgiving spirit. And then the next prayer tomorrow, tomorrow night, you begin to pray all the prayer we have prayed. This is an instruction. If you have not written it, go and listen to this message again and get it on. I believe in God that the Almighty God will visit you. In the name of Jesus, Amen. in the name of Jesus, Amen. I decree and I declare by the authority of the word of God, everyone under the stand of my voice, as they begin to pray this prayer, starting from tonight, I pray, Father, you will open their eyes of understanding. Show them the mystery that they need to know to move to the next level. Any power that is behind their predicament, any human agent, Behind anyone's predicament, under the sound of my voice, I decree in the mighty name of Jesus, the, your eyes will be opened, you will see. And the Lord will not just open your eyes to see, we give you what to do to overcome. In the name of Jesus, as everyone engages himself or herself in this prayer, Lord, I pray in the mighty name of Jesus, prove that you are the master. Thank you, Father, for the answer. We say we love you, Lord. Blessed be your name. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Thank you and God bless you.